yeah, the Montreal Canadiens. No, not tonight. The Habs lose to the Tampa Bay Lightning 4-2-1, which puts their record to 7-4-2 on the season. But you know what? I don't think the score of this game is truly indicative of how that game played out. In terms of shots, it was 36-35 to to Tampa Bay. In the face-off dot, Montreal bested the Tampa Bay Lightning 54-46. to um, And it was a close game, despite the score. I think the difference in this game was Tampa Bay's defense and Tampa Bay's goaltending from Andre Vasilevsky, who is one of the best goaltenders in the National Hockey League. Now, losing is absolutely hard to watch but if there's any team I can kinda somewhat accept a loss to it might be a team like the Tampa Bay Lightning despite them being a division rival just being honest it still fucking sucks to lose that game, I thought the Montreal Canadiens would have had a good chance to stay in that game late into the game. But wasn't our luck tonight. But you know what? I got to watch this game tonight with family. Hockey night in Canada. You couldn't ask for anything better than to spend a Saturday night with family watching the Montreal Canadiens play hockey. So shout out to all you, all you guys who uh, had a good evening tonight despite the loss. Um, you know what? So to start the game, Max Domi comes out, gets an, <laughs> what an absolute beauty of a play from Max Domi. Gets that chip play uh, to himself, comes in and shoots the puck. And you know what? Max is known for his playmaking, his vision, his passes, but his shot continues to impress me the further we go into the season. It's been his strength, really. And that's not to say that his playmaking has been uh, anything short of really goddamn good, but his shot has been that much better, uh, which is really impressive. Max Domi is the real deal. I love him in a Montreal Canadian sweater. Shortly after that, uh, Nick Delorier goes to the box on what I would like to say is an absolutely weak penalty call. Ryan McDonough shows Delorier his back in the corner when he goes to retrieve the puck. And uh, I don't know what Ryan McDonough's thinking there. He's a vet. And does he think he's just going to show Delorier his back and not get hit? Um, That's weak. That's not what hockey is about. Come on, Ryan McDonough. You are a vet. That's a load of crap. And that penalty is what got the Tampa Bay Lightning back in the game. They didn't score on that power play, uh, technically. They scored right when the power play ended. Um, So that's what got them back in the game. And that was a very... Weak call, um, but it's not. That's not what cost them the game. I don't want to. I don't want to get that mixed up here. I just don't like calls like that uh, in the game of hockey because all Nick Delorier was trying to do there was finish his check, which is what he should do. Um, uh, and then after that, we have the Charles Hudon giveaway in the defensive zone, and I'm sure Charles Hudon wants that one back. Um, it's a pretty harsh one. JT Miller ends up getting a very uh, high danger scoring chance off of it and he finishes because he is a solid hockey player very underrated in the NHL um, yeah Charles Hudon he's gonna want that one back I hope it doesn't lose him his spot on that first or second line whatever you want to call it with uh, Domi and Duran because I've liked what I've seen from them uh, so far in the two games but you know what that could be what loses him his spot wouldn't be surprised to see Lekin and slide back up there uh, for the next game. Uh, and then we have Stamkos in the third period, gets a nice snipe. And then Yanni Gord, good for him, uh, gets the fourth goal for Tampa Bay Lightning from Quebec, playing in his home province, gets a goal. Who, and he recently signed a six-year, $5.1 million deal, cashing in. And he was undrafted, so good for him. Happy for the guy. Um, but yeah, tough loss tonight. Um couple positives. Uh, Thomas Tatar was looking good all over the ice. Xavier Ouellette played a good game. Jamie Benn played a good game. I thought Domi played great. 
Uh, Gallagher, as usual, played fantastic. Uh, Philip Deneau continuing to be a very solid second line center defensively. Very sound player all over the ice. Continuing to win a ton of draws uh, in the face-off dot. But like I said, I don't think the score was very indicative of how that game um, really was played out. It, was, it wasn't the most exciting game overall. I think it could have finished a lot closer than uh, a 4-1 finish. Um, another positive, the power, uh, the penalty kill for Montreal was 3-for-3. Three three, so good on them. Um, I guess maybe you could say it was 2-for-3, but uh, still. Um, another big difference... Montreal's really got to get this power play going before Weber gets back in the lineup. I don't want to sit here and rely on Shea Weber coming back into the lineup to get this power play back up to where it needs to be. This team has already proven that they have solid uh, hockey players that can finish. There's no excuse that they cannot capitalize on their power plays. I would like to see this team get this power play back on track before Shea Weber gets in the lineup. Um, they've... The power play didn't look awful tonight, but they just don't have that little extra bit of finish. They really have to get the uh, their feet moving so that the, the defenders move and get out of position. And the goaltender has to move side to side and get out of position or uncomfortable. Um, I just don't see that. When the power play has been at its best is when Drouin is roaming on the power play. All the players are moving their feet. Um... And you just haven't seen that uh, a whole lot. So really would like to see this team get the power play under control before Shea Weber gets back in because I don't want this team to rely on his addition to get their power play back on track. They're capable of it. They're very close. But it's time to start finishing on the power play. Price, can we please go back to the, the uh, white pads? No need to change it up. We've been playing great all season. I find with the red pads, the holes in the net are much more prominent. So it just gave me a ton of anxiety watching him in the net with those red pads because you can see all those little holes in the five hole or next to the blocker or under the or under the glove. So yeah, just not feeling those red pads. Continue to use them in practice all you want, but not in games. Please. <laughs> uh yeah, so next game we have the New York Rangers. I believe that's on Tuesday. Um, I'll talk to you guys after that one. Cheers. Go Habs, go. If you like my videos, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Scotian Canadian, Instagram as well. And uh, I got the Mo going for November. Please support the cause. Uh, grow your mustache out to show support for men's health. And uh, go on to any of the Canadians players. Uh, most base pages and donate if you feel uh, the need to do that. Cheers, guys. I'll talk to you later.